So the last time Gamecock fans saw number 21 in action, these were probably the last images they remember. Marcus Lattimore lying on the grass of williams Bryce Stadium, clutching his knee. That injury ending his season, and it would require yet another stint of rehab. Now, uh, Lattimore is back and possibly stronger than ever in preparation for April's NFL draft. These are pic pictures taken last month of Marcus in rehab in Florida. Recently, the Gamecock great was back in the Midlands, this time sharing how his faith has inspired him to get back in the game. Now, News 19's James Starks has that story. I started dealing with a lot of stuff. You know, my grandpa died, my grandma died. I had two injuries, and uh, without my faith, I, I feel like, you know, I wouldn't be able to make it. You know, I, I probably would have dropped out, to tell you the truth with everything I've been through. You can make the case that Marcus Lattimore is one of the most inspiring athletes in recent memory. He proudly wears his faith on his sleeve. However, if you were to ask him, he says his own trials and tribulations led him to search for inner peace. The former Gamecock is known as a young man who did not let two season ending injuries stop him. He is a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. One of my good friends came over, Dylan Thompson, the quarterback. You know, he told me God doesn't make mistakes. And uh, he just reminded me, you know, you know, just keep your faith. You're going to be all right, and it's all in God's plan. Lattimore was speaking at a Fellowship for Christian Athletes event in Orangeburg. Hundreds gathered to see USC's all-time touchdown leader. FCA board member Earl Humes invited Marcus not just to sign autographs and take pictures, but to touch the lives of the youth. What they're going to learn from Marcus is you can get knocked down, but you don't have to stay down, that you can get up, and, and if, if you can visualize success, uh, you can make it happen. Like a preacher in the pulpit, Lattimore captured the attention of the crowd not only by what he's done on the field, but the powerful words he said off of it. I was destined for this. I was made for a person. To inspire people, to lead others to Christ. Because without him, I wouldn't have made it through this. Just as he's done time and time again, Lattimore assured everyone there that through his faith, he will not only return as a better football player, but also a better man. I'm so blessed. I take nothing for granted now. What's your purpose in life? What, you, what are you living for? And if you don't believe in Christ, you will after this come back. In Orangeburg, James Starks, News 19, WLTX. Well, again, Lattimore is preparing for April's NFL draft, where experts are expecting his name to be called. And coming up tonight on News 19 at 11, we'll hear from the star running back on what he thinks his chances to play at the next level. Well, ahead on News 19 this morning, drivers may be getting some relief at the pump, but it may not be as good as it seems. And speaking of drivers, Amy is back with your only real-time look at traffic right here in the Midlands. Don't go anywhere. It's 528, and you're waking up with News 19 this morning.